All right, here we go. Question 24 from our pre-calculus homework 13 in my lab math. Again, we're going to use the principle of mathematical induction to prove a statement. It says we want to prove that the following statement is true for all natural numbers n, proving that this trinomial, this expression, is always divisible by 2. So the first part of the problem is to satisfy the first condition of mathematical induction. It says what must be true? It must be true for the first term, for when n is 1. So for part 2, we're going to have to prove that the statement is true. Either yes, it satisfies the condition for when n is 1, or no, it doesn't. So let's go to the scratch work and show that. So, mathematically showing that the statement is true for when k is 1, we simply replace all of the n's with 1 and work it out. 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4. That is definitely divisible by 2. So, we, we have shown that the statement is true. So, back to our MyLab math. We're going to select option A because we proved that it is true. It says the expression evaluates to 4, which is divisible by 2. Part 3, what must be done next to show that the given statement is true for all natural numbers? Well, remember we have to assume that it's true for k and then prove that it's true for k plus 1. So which option says that? Option B, assume that the statement is true for k, plugging in every n for a k. We need to assume that it's divisible by 2, and then determine whether it holds for k plus 1. So that is the second condition for the mathematical induction. And then for part four, they want us to write the statement for k plus one. So that means replacing every n in the expression with k plus one. Let's go to the scratch work and look at that. All right, here we go. Plugging in for our expression, replacing every n with k plus one. And what we're gonna have to do is a little bit of simplification but going back to the MyLab math and looking at what they want, it says do not simplify. So we're going to input the expression the, the way that I wrote it in the scratch work <laughs> without simplifying and see if that's actually what they want. So that was k plus 1 quantity squared plus k plus 1. Uh, I think I'm going to put that in parentheses, plus 2. Okay, good. That is what they wanted. And then it says, now rewrite the expression in the statement for k plus 1 in terms of, and somehow we're going to have to end up with this as uh, one of the terms. So now we need to go back to the scratch work and do some simplification to see if we can come up with this format that they want. All right, so again, in our scratch work, this is where we're at. This is where we're trying to get to. And so the first step that I'm going to take is I'm going to multiply this first term using the FOIL method. That's going to give us k squared on the outside plus k on the inside plus k, last but not least, plus 1, plus k, plus 1, plus 2. And then let's take this expression and combine like terms, keeping in mind that we're trying to come up with this trinomial. So I only have the k squared. He's one of a kind. Notice I do need a plus k. So I'm going to take care of that k, and I'm going to take this plus 2. That's going to come up with this trinomial that I needed. And then the other terms are going to be what's in the other box. 
So plus k plus k, that's a 2k, plus 1 plus 1 is plus 2. And then if I could give you some insight into where we're going with this, like why we wanted this, remember that we assumed that this was divisible by 2. And so if you already have a number that's divisible by 2, and you add to it a number that is also divisible by 2, then the sum is going to be divisible by 2. And we can see that this expression is indeed divisible by 2 because we can factor out a 2. And since this is now a multiple of 2, it is divisible by 2. So that's just a little insight into the mathematical mentality for why we needed this expression the way that it looks. And so back to our MyLab math window, inputting into the box what we calculated, 2k plus 2. And next for part 6, is the resulting statement for k plus 1 true? Well, I think I just showed you that it was. So it can't be no. It could be yes. Let's read their justification. Yes, because this we assume to be true, and the sum of the remaining terms in the statement for k plus 1 is divisible by 2. The sum of two even numbers is even, so the statement for k plus 1 is true for all values of k. I think that's what I just explained to you. Let's read part D and see if this one can be eliminated. Yes, because both the sum for when uh, n is k and the sum of the remaining terms in the statement for k plus 1 are divisible by 2 when k is 1. So if the statement is true for k equals 1, it is true for any value of k. I don't think that's what I just explained. I think this is it. Part B, and for the last part of this problem, use the results obtained above to draw a conclusion about the given statement. All right, here we go. Since our statement is divisible by 2, satisfies both of the conditions listed in the principle of mathematical induction this statement is true for all natural numbers. It does have to satisfy both conditions in order for it to be true for all cases. And that's going to do it for this problem. So if you have any questions or comments about anything covered in this video, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.